everyone, this is Life with Brooklyn, and I am Brooklyn. Today we are here with me and my mom and my cat next to the thing. I just did this whole haul, and now I have to redo it because my school called me and I cannot um, finish the other video. So I'm going to try and do this a little bit quicker, but basically, I'm obviously it's a Dollar Tree haul, I'm just going to quickly go through it. So I'm going to finish up this bag, and then we're going to go on. So we have these leggings, my mom got these. To try them out to try them out just so that way we can see how well they work we got a, a candle light tower because you know we need that for hurricane season yeah hurricane season just started today so we got um some but different stuff for it it was just like a thunder and he jumped yeah um out also a freaking motorcycle so motorcycle and thunder at the same time and my cat went <gasps> And like jumped um i have this thing with miniature stuff and i there they have the travel section and i always get stuff from the travel section um that i ha don't have i literally have a collection in my room i have like um friggin shaving cream lotion sunscreen like it's a problem um but i got the this rosy chap ice for the lips ten of the ding it's like barely bigger than my thumb it's like two of my thumbs but I got this, um, I might use it every now and then if I have some chap lips, but usually I just drink water and it helps. Um, oh wait, no. That's or, it. you know, lip balm. Or lip balm. Um, we got, here, let me look for it. We got another one, here it is. We got this Midnight, um, Tease and Morning Glow LA Colors palettes because we could not find the hard candy palettes they have um in other dollar trees and um, other states i've seen in other people's videos that they have um like whole cases like metallic cases mm. like that are metal or like fake metal and it's like a whole thing like you would find at a regular beauty shop but we don't have those so we just found these we never have these like we never even have palettes these are the probably the biggest palettes we've had mm -hmm. besides like a little tiny eyeshadow palette he's, he's sniffing me. around the camera um i think he's about to attack the phone <laughs> don't do that um and then since the cat knocked this down in the last recording i'm gonna quickly grab it mm -hmm. it's a little candle it's so cute they have these in our store they have them in pink um gray and white i wanted to get all three colors so i could have like a little color scheme going on but we had to cut back on some other stuff and my mom only let me get one so but i i am still appreciative of it it's cute it's nice ew it who knows maybe you can get more when we go to each time yeah maybe or each time one. i can get a different color so I'm like, stop he's trying <laughs> to knock it down again um Again on the windowsill, I wanted to try out this, sorry about the blind, I wanted to try out this tea and lemonade piece tea, and then we have a crayon apple that my mom got, crayon apple juice, crayon apple, crayon apple, crayon apple, crayon apple, crayon apple. Crayon apple. um, and I want to do, um, Thrifty Tiffany collects, um, recipe books and i like recipes i cook a lot i experiment a lot um just like her so i wanted to get some um like her like she has a bunch of them and um i was actually thinking about her channel and then i remembered oh i'm gonna look for some recipe books and i got this slow cooker um recipe book you and know, speaking of books that she holds mm -hmm. she holds um a witchy book or like a witch thing um for her and her sister and i was looking all over the dang store for it and i could not find it I was did so you look in the sad. books did you look behind because a lot of the times they don't really organize their books and i feel like uh, um they they're don't organize thrown in there. They, yeah they're just thrown in there they're, it's so messy i'm surprised i even found recipe books because of how bad it is how badly organized it is but um a lot of the times, like, oh my gosh, they have friggin' a whole section at the top of Holy Bibles. I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not saying anything. But they have a whole section of Holy Bibles. It's all organized, and it's pretty. They have friggin' gold Bibles, black Bible, like, everything. It's all organized, all pretty, all nice and neat, and then the rest of the books are just thrown, I'm thrown in there. It's like a customer taking the time to Probably. I wouldn't doubt it that a customer's like... Oh. I need I to organize, organize this. this because the other day we went the last time we went at our last hole haul and the top was a little bit messy and then the back um on the second 
the second to tallest shelf had Bibles in the back. So I really wouldn't doubt that someone, like a customer or someone or like a uh, employee with no, like uh, just free time on their hands because they have nothing to do, maybe, um, decided that they should organize the whole, like the Bibles and not the rest of the books. But I'm really surprised with how messy it is that I found this. But I found this. Um, you know what? Um, this time when we went to the Dollar Tree, the next time that we were going to go, I wanted to go to the other one, mm -hmm. um, but just because it was going to rain and yeah. know, because I'm not wanting to really be away from And I'm, I, I'm always nervous because I don't really like hurricanes. Like, they're kind of fun, but it's, it's just nerve-wracking. <laughs> they're kind of fun because it's not like the damage and stuff, but it's just kind of fun to be in it. And it's just like, wow, this is actually happening. And, like, looking out the window, and it's, like, hardcore raining. And it's, just, it's kind of pretty. Like, I like the rain and, like, stuff like that. So, like, seeing it rain, it's, like, pretty and stuff like that. But, obviously, the damage is not fun, not pretty at all. But because hurricane season started today, we got some stuff for hurricane season. But, um, yeah. I'm totally excited. But, um, my mom picked up these value packs three pairs of foot liners. These are Chatty's leg wear. Um, but yeah, they're supposed to be, they're supposed to stay on all day. They're ultra soft. They have a comfort band and they're no show. So if you're wearing heels or anything like that, they're not supposed to show, even though my mom doesn't really wear heels. I'm assuming she got them for like, my work shoes. yeah, work shoes. Cause she wears, um, flats to work, even though she's not working right now. She's working from home, but yeah. When she goes back to work, she'll be able to continue wearing mm -hmm. those. There was a whole scandal at her work because she used to wear flip flops and then, like, some girl tile tailed or something or whatever. And then she wasn't allowed to wear flip flops to work. And it's just now she wears flats. That's just her thing. She wears flats. Only to work, though. Only to work. <laughs> Other than that, she wears <laughs> flip flops. Or if we're going on, like, a really, really long walk, she wears sneakers. But that's. <laughs> we don't go on long walks anymore. I was like. Oh, we could go to Dollar Tree. Like, we could walk to Dollar Tree because we were having a walk. Yeah, and she was like, how are we going to carry everything back? And I was if, like, I love that you're acknowledging the fact on. that we're going to get way too much. If I feel the need or want to get dressed up, I will wear heels or, you know, mo mostly boots I like to wear. Yeah, she has, winter. like, knee-high boots. Um, she, though, she decided a long time ago in October we were flying somewhere. She decided to wear boots, her knee-high boots, to the airport. I was in sweatpants, yeah, a you shirt, know why? sneakers. Because I didn't want to put those. They would have taken up too much room. Well, yeah, I get that. <laughs> but, like, listen. So, we um, we had connecting flights from another state to another state far, far away. So, another state that's closer to our state and then another state far away. So, we had connecting flights. And because our first flight was... Um, I don't remember what time of day it was, but it, we ended up being a little bit late, and we almost, like, almost missed our flight. Like, we were literally the last people, and we were walking, and they were, like, they called our names, and we were traveling with another person, and they called our names, and I was like, oh, my God, we need to run. And then I was, like, running, and I had a heavy <coughs> bag. Really, Sammy? <laughs> I was running, and I was, like, jetting, and I was like, da -da -da. my mom. I was thinking I don't about know. that today, too. I don't know how she did it, but she was like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> she had a bag. She had her purse, like, everything. She's wearing her heels. She's like, boom, 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 boom. And I'm just like, what is going <laughs> on? Are you superhuman or something? Like, I can barely rig and run from Let the couch to the wall Let in me heels. Let you something. Your mama <laughs> used to do it all in heels. I used to fight. I used to dig ditches. I used to do. Why all did this you do? Because I was in the back. I was in the backyard with your daddy and grandpa doing something like digging something in the in the backyard. Mm -hmm. And because there was fire ants, I was like, "Hold on, let me get my heels on." <laughs> That's a good idea, though. Um, back to the hall, though. We're going completely off topic, but I just thought that was a funny story. Um, <laughs> but I got these cute little paper clips because they're so adorable. They're just like, I, I've been eyeing them forever, and it's just so cute. It looks like black or silver, but it's I hope you gold. don't lose them. I am not losing them. I'm going to keep it. I have this little three um, thing that I got, like three little, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a little plastic thing that has Ouch. three sections, oh, okay. and I got it in the last haul. I will definitely be keeping these in one of those sections, paper clips, the cute little fancy paper clips. Now, the thing that I'm trying to avoid is mm -hmm. having... Too much stuff that we don't need and things just piling up. Yeah. Because 
that to me is just like I don't even it stresses me out to think about it yeah um then I got these other fancy ones that are little like little tassels the red the pink and then the purple and the blue I just thought these were so cute they also have the gold I thought they were so cute because they obviously match the other ones Those, see um, in my you know my my budget thingy that I have mm -hmm. that would be cute in there because I have my different sections and then I, I yeah you could the divide them by the colors by um but these are really cute and they match the other colors um the same kind of color scheme and <coughs> excuse okay. me I just like had a whew moment <laughs> but I just thought these were so cute and like they match the other ones so I thought I should get those um then um because we are down south and I want to try out some more southern food mm. I decided that I wanted to get the Southern Favorites. Oh, I didn't even go over the photography and stuff. But then the Slow Cooker book, they have like, it has cheeseburger soup, um, baked beans, macaroni and cheese, baked ziti, honey sesame chicken. Maybe but, you want to try that? Oh, oh, I literally opened up to honey se sesame, <laughs> sesame chicken and it was the first thing, the last thing I said. But look at that photography. So pretty. Black forest cake. Like, you this know, is just, I just so got, pretty. I just got a, a book, a, a recipe book of my own. Chicken On thighs. Amazon, I got one of the digital ones mm -hmm. because I have a credit. And, like, just going through it, some of the stuff that I, like, was intimidated to cook, just reading the recipe for it, I'm like, oh, my God, this is super simple. Yeah. So, I mean, it's open. It's opening me up to want to be able to make a lot more things at home. Yeah. And then in this book, they have poppers, ribs, apple crisp, red beans, and rice, and obviously a lot, lot more. Um. So this is deviled eggs Ooh, yeah, I love with that. bacon and green onions, um, yeah, buttermilk yeah. biscuits. I wanted to make this. This is like one of the reasons I got this book because I love biscuits. Like, I will tell you, with all my heart, I love biscuits. What kind of biscuits, like? Slow-cooked pork. Look at that. That's a pork roast, slow-cooked. Oh. That's what I wanted to make. And this is making smack me. About it. This is making me hungry. This is some southern goulash. Like, this what photog... Um, I don't know. Um... <laughs> This one doesn't have a, that one and that one doesn't have, don't. it don't, they, they don't have a, um, price tag or anything like what they would have been at a regular store, but this is, um, Southern Favorites food we love, and, um, are you sure it doesn't have it on there? Yeah, okay. I'll take a look the it back too. of it just has the barcode, um, my tooth hurts, I have a little bit of a toothache. Um, this one does, it is $20 US, and I got it for a dollar. Look how big that book is. There's 250 pages in here for a dollar. This is Totally Buff, your six-week guide to becoming beautiful, unstoppable, and fearless. Um, by L L Libby Babbitt and the Buff Girls, it includes over 100 recipes to kickstart, healthy recipes to kickstart your new lifestyle. Um, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, Mexican stuffed cap. I don't know how to pronounce that last word, but look at all that stuff. Cabbage? No, but look, it's so pretty. And there's workout stuff in the beginning of it, um, and just some stuff to help you um, be more confident and stuff like that. So that was super cool and awesome. And then we got for me this. Mm, excuse me. Um, antiperspirant de deodorant cool blast. I have the purple one in my dad's house. Um, but that's that one. And then, where's the other one? We got two light bulbs. Um, we got this decor globe, uh, for the bathroom, for our vanity, because one of our lights is out, and we want to make it more white and bright in there, instead of more yellow and dim, and just not really, like, a home space. I, well, I think it's yellow because of the light. Yeah, the but light, not the... I don't the, think that the bulb is going to do much to yeah, change. We have to get um, four of them LED eventually. Ones, but I couldn't find the LED ones. Yeah, so. but we got this for the bathroom, and we got this for regular lamps. This is a indoor floodlight. I went to the kitchen, and Sammy followed me. Yeah, but you <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely should stock up on lights. Make sure you always have lights 
Um, so in case any of your lights break, you always have a light handy, and they do work. We we I don't think we've ever gotten a non Dollar Tree light because of how good they work and how long they last. It's not like a cheap cheap light bulb where they fritz out after like a week. They stay for like a year or two. Like it's really good. They're really good quality. And a lot of the stuff at Dollar Tree isn't that good quality. So dollar like the light bulbs at Dollar Tree are really good. Um, these are Sunbeam. I do not think I think I think this is a name brand product, and that might be why it is so. I want to say those. Good are the, I can get those ones at Walmart too. Yeah, but these are really good product. Um, and for my birthday, they also have batteries. Yeah. Um, and for my birthday, I'm making my own cake with box cake, and I'm making my own fondant, and I'm making like my own Harry Potter birthday um birthday party. So I had to get confectioner sugar, powdered sugar, for the fondant. Um, for, a for a practice cake. My birthday is in October. We got this sharpening stone for me. a box. Hit me in the mouth. <laughs> I went to like that was embarrassing. But we got this sharpening stone for knives for the kitchen, obviously. And we got two traditional yellow um, cakes because I want to dye the inside of my cake so they're a really nice color that goes along with the houses because I'm going to do a five tiered cake and every tier is going to be a house and I'm Ravenclaw so the um, biggest tier at the bottom is going to be Ravenclaw and then the top tier is going to be Ravenclaw as well and I want to dye the inside of the cakes the color that corresponds with the house so I wanted to get yellow instead of chocolate um but I got that we got these rose and gold face masks these are name brand these are Go global beauty care um i saw them because of their flashy packaging obviously they look really really pretty so that's why i noticed them and then i saw that they were rose and gold and asked my mom if we could get them um along what the heck was that noise my mom made a really weird noise she's eating chips and it was like a duck quack it was like quack <laughs> Along with the cake. I mean, the, the chip hit the back of my throat and it, like, made a gag noise. <laughs> Along with the cake, I got these two things of, uh, <laughs> icing so we could do them for our, um, crumb coat and so I can stick, make sure the fondant sticks to the cake. And um, obviously, even though it's, um a test i'm obviously going to watch um some videos to make sure i'm doing it properly because i don't want to mess it up and waste money um we got these fruit loops this is good for like traveling or if you just want a quick snack on the road really really good um i did some videos about my i watched some videos about my hair and like because i want to bleach my hair and i want to let it regrow first so it's nice and pretty and i might not bleach my hair it just depends on um my choice later on down the road but um i decided well i learned that this is the best type of brush for my hair um like curliness and just how my hair is it's a flat brush rather than a super bouncy brush like a super big brush and then the grip looks super pretty so i'm excited to try this out and um a lot of these that like should be reviews like the food and like the brushes and stuff like that um i will come back like in a week or two or whenever um and do a review for those products so you guys can obviously I think for the most part we've tried all the food. Yeah, pretty much. But for like a lot of the stuff, um, um, I'll come back with a review video so you guys know and just kind of have like a second opinion. It started. It's starting to rain, mm -hmm. um, really heavy. So if you hear like a weird noise, that's what it is. Um, but yeah. So I'll come back with a review video. Um, speaking of like food and drinks we saw this um i know the strawberry lemonade one is very very popular i wanted to try the blueberry one the strawberry one my mom does not really like because she likes more sour lemonade and this the um strawberry one was more of a sweet and i'm not sure about this we have never tried this before so i'm really excited to try this i'm gonna try that one too and i'm gonna see if it's too sweet yeah if it is i think i'm just gonna add more lemon juice yeah um they do have a rosé non-alcoholic juice but i decided that i didn't want that today and i got this mountain dew for me for like the next two or three days um i was gonna go for there my mom we're almost done my mom got these fudge mint uh cookies pretty much girl scout cookies she got two boxes of these they're really good i just don't eat them a lot 
Um, because of where we live down south, it is really hot all the time, even in winter. It's freaking hot all the time. So I got this a deluxe foldable fan. It has this little uh, tassel. The last one I got did not have a tassel. And this is actually really soft material. I really like it. So, um, and obviously the color matches with this and I just realized that this has a tassel and it um my paper clips also have tassels so I thought so and I'm just now thinking that that's super cute and it has a little blue things on it and it has like gold on it I saw this the last time I got one it broke and but it was pink and it actually lasted me for a really long while so if you live somewhere where it's hot or like if your power goes out or something and you're stopping by Dollar Tree to get some stuff um, I would definitely keep these in stock, especially if you live down where it's hot, like, or if it's hot constantly where you live, I would definitely stock up on outside. these. Or you're just outside a lot, I would definitely stock up on these, um, to make sure you're constantly cool. Because, um, today is the official start of hurricane season, where we live, um, and I think just everywhere, um, we stock up with stuff. For hurricane season like lights and flashlights and batteries and so like that we got these LED push lights we got these in our last haul but they were from my closet they um, unfortunately have not stuck to my closet I went in my closet today to grab a shirt and it they were on the floor um, so I'm really disappointed about that but I'm pretty sure that we can just find a solution for that my mom said in the last recording of this because I had to do this twice um, the last recording of this she said that i could just use velcro on the back of them and stick them on top of my closet which is actually a really good idea and i don't know why i didn't think of that before you know well whatever props to her for thinking about that um but these are led they're super super bright like i'm not even joking you i turned this on and it literally blinded me and i put them in my closet and it was super bright and it, it's just really good something to have if where you are you constantly are getting hit by um like if you live on the coast or anything or just anywhere where like tornadoes or something like stuff like that natural disasters happen where you might need your power might go out um so now it's fully raining mm -hmm. but um we definitely stock up on these try to stock up on these and like batteries and stuff like that um so today was a good day to get those um my throat's dry we got this beauty cream dove um my mom was saying also in the last one this is uh 2.53 fluid ounces you're definitely when you're buying name brand stuff from the regular store you're gonna want to make sure that a the price is a better or worse price so if it's like five dollars at the regular store for the same amount of product then get it at the dollar store but if it's less amount of product at the dollar store for a dollar and you're getting more product at um the regular store if it's a lot more product or a decent amount more of product you should get the um regular store thing because you're getting more for more money but if you're just spending a dollar for less amount of money i mean less amount of product just just get the regular you might as well because then you're just getting more um and we're on the last few things, but we got this these bath bombs. I'm pretty sure you guys all know those bath bombs, like the um, rainbow and the cactus and the star ones. They have a Dollar Tree that are Dollar Tree brand. Um, I decided against those because it's only one, and these are three, and these are watermelon and aloe. And they actually have, um, that's my mom, but they actually have um, like facial mist and facial wipes and masks of this brand so i would definitely suggest that you try this out and i will obviously come back in my review video to talk about these my mom's opening fudge cookies <laughs> i'm bored <laughs> did i already no i didn't um this is also a name brand thing um deodorant for my mom i want like something to snack on but i wanted something like i don't know <laughs> um since July, um fourth of july is coming up next month or this month is this one's June or July? This month's June. Okay. Next month, <laughs> next month, sorry, I had a brain fart. Next month is um, 4th of July. <laughs> she gave me this weird look like, what is wrong with you? Um, but we got these little things, five piece bracelets, so we can chill at home, watch some movies, have some bracelets in the dark, and eat food. Oh, that, 
Oh my god, she's my phone's acting up, so we're doing it on her phone. Um, we got this for um butter beer, um, which is non-alcoholic, and um like Rupert floats or Coca-Cola floats or anything like that. So we can <laughs> she's being weird. Um <laughs> I have chocolate on my lap. <laughs> um, so we can do that. And it has this really pretty design on the bottom. Like that's super cute. Um and the last item. Oh, you're gonna wash it anyway. The official last item of this haul is food. Guess what it is? I'll give you five seconds. Okay, literal five seconds. Tortilla chips. And there's a there's a story behind this. Well, not behind why she got it, but. I'm assuming that she wanted um, tortilla chips, and I'm an artist, so um, I was drawing in my sketchbook, and I asked her for a prompt, and she goes, after like two prompts that she gave me that I didn't want to do, she goes, tortilla chips. I go, okay. And I drew a bag of tortilla chips. Yeah, but then we ended up getting a t bag of tortilla chips. I had red on the top. I drew mine, and it had red on the top. She got one that had the same red on the top. I'm not saying that's why she got this bag, but it's really funny that this one had red on the top, on the top of it, and then I put red on top of it. I just thought that was really funny. I was just like, oh, you know, it has red on top of it, you know? Ooh, I cracked a tortilla chip. Oh no. But yeah, so that is my Dollar Tree haul for this week. Um. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, comment down below. What should they comment down below? Hmm. What is your favorite product at the Dollar Tree? And what was your idea? That. <laughs> so, what is your favorite uh, product at the Dollar Tree? And what out of five stars would you rate it? Kind of like when you're on um, the app store and you're rating the thing. But um, What's tell your us. Favorite product? My favorite product? Oh. Um, I It's hard to say. It's between crafts and glass. So I like glassware. And I have this thing. I don't. Obviously, I can't drink alcohol. But I Is get. Is there any one product, though? I get wine glasses and champagne glasses. I feel like those are my favorite products. Like the glass section and like the cupware section is my favorite section because they're just so pretty. My favorite item is mm -hmm. the um, the soda can organizers. Yes, we have some of those here. You talk it while I go grab them. Where are they? So the soda can organizers were all over YouTube, and I could not find them in stores anywhere. So I just looked on the online to find them, and I did, but um, I had some trouble trying to get them to ship to the store, or when I would try to do it to me, they would say that shipping was available to my home, even though I had gotten other items there to my house <laughs> from Dollar Tree online. So I was f finally able to order them, and when I did, I was so happy I got no. I got the I got the fridge organizers, and I got the soda can organizers. So this now when I bought them, I thought that these ones were gonna be bigger, um, and so check your dimensions when you're buying that stuff. But I thought they were gonna be bigger. But honestly, they work perfectly for my kitchen. And we still have to pantries. do a video about that about the kitchen. But we used this all over the kitchen and we <clears throat> so there was this thing um i think it was on facebook that she showed me um but it was this mom that has kids and she basically used this type thing a little basket like this for her kid um kids they have a cup that they use throughout the day and then they have snacks that they eat throughout the day and they can't eat any more <clears throat> snacks than that um but i have my own in the kitchen it has these little legs on it it's really spacious like it's i could like sprawl out my entire hand so that's really good um that can fit a lot of stuff a lot a lot of snacks you, pro you should probably depending on your child's age and like how much they need to eat throughout the day like um use r r like obviously rare um what's the word very 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 varying 
varying I don't know if that's the right word. See, this doesn't work for me because when I crave something, I crave something specific. Yeah. And if I eat something else, it's still going to annoy me until I eat what I'm craving. True. But So, go ahead. Um, I really like these, and I honestly think it's a really good idea. I like how it has this, and you could mm -hmm. use this for a lot more than just in the kitchen. Like, you could use this for, like, pens, um, woohoo markers. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but I want to save up to get those. They're really, really nice I markers. Think, depending on how much you have, like, these are a good size for that, too. Mm -hmm. um, these are a perfect size for, like, the small cans of chilies or mm -hmm. the small cans of tomato Olives. sauce. The tunas cans of tuna fit uh the small ones fit perfectly in there we have um, um i think in, in a, a container similar to this but it's blue mm -hmm. and it's a i think it's a um a different dimension a little bit different dimension mm -hmm. like this we have our cat food in there on its side not like um where it's the circles all like that but we have it on its side yeah and it fits perfectly in there so if you have an animal that eats wet food that's a good idea also to organize it so they have um a little a, a space um specifically for that and it's really good these are just really good organizers overall for everything mm -hmm. but yeah that was our dollar tree haul um i really hoped you guys enjoyed it um so i'll see you back in the review video when i do that in a little bit but bye guys bye